Sup guys, welcome to today's show. So, yesterday we learned how to create a very simple uh, C program, this one, where we print something to the screen. Today we are going to learn how we can read information from the keyboard of the user. Uh, and we will introduce a couple of new concepts as well where variables are one of them. Uh, but first I will create my small skeleton. I will create a file which is called name.c and I will include the standard IO library and create the main function. Uh, with a return zero statement. So this is the skeleton that you hopefully have learned uh, by heart by now. But we are going to include some stuff here, uh, or add some stuff rather. So first I'm going to put a print uh, f uh, call which will ask the user for their name. So something like, hello, what is your name? Question mark and new line, like this. This far uh, we came in the last episode. But now we wish to read information from the keyboard. And there is a, a ton of different ways we can do that. I will use the function scanf and this function is a little bit controversial because you should never use it in production code like this because uh, it's not safe. But there is no problem of using it in example code like this and it's an easy function to begin with. So don't be afraid to use it in uh, codes like this. All right, but in order to read information from the user, we need to be able to save that information somewhere. And that's where variables come in. A variable is like a small box uh, inside of the computer's memory with a name tag. And they can look like this. So this is a variable with the name name. And what this char is, as you can see, oh, as you can see, this char gets the same color in uh, VS Code as the int in front of main. And that is no coincidence. Because when we save stuff to the memory, we need to describe for the computer what kind of information it is. So in the case of main, it is an integer. In this case, it basically means that what we return down here will be an integer, like this zero here. Uh, but in this case, it's char. And a single char um, it contains one character. So a single char can contain uh, an A, or a B, or a dot or a 5, for example. Um, but in this case, we have allocated space for 16 characters. So 16 chars. Uh, and this is a variable that we can use to store the name. And we use scanf with this syntax, which might be a little bit confusing in the beginning, but you'll get used to it. So you type percent %s inside of quotes, and then a comma, 
uh, and then the name of the variable. So what does this mean? Well, the same way we, when we create this variable, we need to describe what kind of information it's going to hold, characters in this case. When we use that variable, we sometimes need to describe that again, because this scanf function uh, will not know that otherwise. And this time we use a different syntax, but it's the same thing basically. Percent %s means that the thing that follows to the right is a string of characters. Uh, and then we want to produce a result. We need to, I want to print to the screen, hello and the name that you provided. So the first thing is no problem. We will print hello as we usually do, but then something will follow and then a new line. Um, but what will those things be, the thing in between? Well, the same way we used this percent %s here, we will use the same syntax when we want to use our variable. So instead of putting something static in here, we will put percent %s. And this will be replaced with the variable that we specify afterwards. So after this quote, we will put a comma, same way as in the scanf statement, and we will give the name of our variable like this. So this basically means that instead of just printing hello to the screen, we will substitute this with the contents of this variable. So if we save this thing and we compile it, same as we did before, gcc name.c dash o name, uh, it went through. And if we start this program, it says, hello, what is your name? I will type in Jonas, press enter, and it says, hello, Jonas. And this is because we have created a variable, which is a small box inside of the computer's memory with this name tag. And it uh, can hold up to 16 uh, characters. Um, with uh, a note that you can basically just fit 15 characters inside of here. And I will describe why uh, in a later episode. Um, and then we print to the screen, same as before, but then we use the scanf to uh, read something from the keyboard. So this scanf function will pause your entire execution of your program until the user has put in uh, a word and press enter. <clears throat> then the program will continue. And it will store this data inside of the variable that we created up here. And you always create the variables at the top of your function. At least if you're gonna follow the rules of C. In later versions, uh, the most recent versions of C, uh, you can actually create uh, variables in other places as well, but I don't recommend it. Um, and then we want to use this variable in the printf, so we use this syntax to express that we wish to replace this uh, position with the contents of our variable with our saved data. And then we exit the program. So what have we learned today? We have learned what a variable is and that there are different kinds. 
uh, or different types of variable. And uh, we have learned how to read from the keyboard and store stuff in a variable and how to use that variable when printing to the screen. If you like this episode, please like and subscribe. Um, there will be more episodes uh, coming uh, the coming days, so hit the bell icon if you wish to be notified. Thanks for watching and thanks for today.